The idea for sleep radio came to John Watson after he got depressed and suffered from insomnia. His counsellor suggested ambient music radio, which worked to a point. I'd be woken in the middle of the night by some advert like the Harvey Norman yelling man or something similar, and immediately brought me awake. So I thought, well, I can do better than this. So Watson created an ad-free internet radio station for insomniacs. Non-vocal, it has to be instrumental, it has to be very downbeat. In four years, he's put Te Aroha at the centre of the ambient music world. And amazingly, about six weeks ago, we had our first listener in Antarctica. John Watson's found that sleep radio is particularly popular with pregnant women in daycare centres and spas. Just click in here and do a direct download. Now he's even created a free app and composers are falling over themselves to get on air. So that's got a nice quick fade in. Watson and his wife get sent three albums a day, but only 5% of tracks clear the bar and there's no place for Plinky Plonky. So, so that's, that's, a no. that's an album, so that'll be a no. People just don't like the piano music. The idea could have made Watson rich. He says money's not the point. The feedback that I get is fantastic and for me, it's just the satisfaction that I get from knowing that I'm helping other people. The proof, 70% of his listeners, he says, are actually asleep. Adam Hollingworth, News Hub.